Hold Tedumbu government responsible if war breaks out in Kano for bringing soldiers to impose an emir. Article 1. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has condemned the federal government's intervention in the Kano Emirate crisis, accusing it of undermining the state's authority and risking violence. Atiku criticized the government for deploying security forces to escort former Emir Aminu Adubayaru back to his palace early Saturday morning. He argued that the deployment of Adubayaru was a matter within the jurisdiction of the Kano State Government. Citing the repaired Kano State Emirate Council, Council Law, Atiku stated the Governor Abba Yusuf had the authority to remove Adubayaru and reinstate Muhammad Samusi II as Emir. He accused the federal government of violating the 1999 constitution by interfering in the state affairs. Atiku expressed concern that the government's actions could destabilize Kano, which has historically been a peaceful state. He warned that the federal government would be held responsible if any violence broke out due to its interference. The deployment of soldiers and extra constitutional matters undermines the integrity of the Nigerian military, Atiku said. We remind the Turimba administration that Kano state is known for peace and harmony. Any attempt to destabilize the peace of the land of commerce shall be resisted. Article statement comes amid ongoing tensions between the Kano state government and the federal government over the Emory crisis. The government has accused the federal government of attempting to impose Adu Ibayaru as Emir against the wishes of the people. So, hold on. I know that news have actually been flying around. In fact, before the elections, we have been hearing news about this. Okay, this is what is going to happen. Okay, this is what is going to happen. After, you know, the election, you know, they were having crisis now in Kano. Somebody else, okay, they want to put him there. They don't want to put him, you know, all the up and down, up and down. And finally, they were able to fix the issue and they put him, I do. I mean, oh, uh, uh, they put him Abba Yusuf. Now, it is not new. They have started saying it then. That, ah, see you, immediately they come in. This is what is going to happen. Now, what Atiku is coming out to say is that, so, as they, they talk all those things, government no even talk anything. So the government is now against, <laughs> I don't know, the government is now against them removing that map. But my own question is, why? All of a sudden, why? Why did the government not do anything when Ganduje was the former governor of Kano, St uh, Kano State, if I speak tomorrow ten times, who was the former governor of Kano State? Why did they not do anything? Why? You know, that's not be the problem. That is the problem. They did not say anything. All of a sudden, sanity was removed. They kept quiet. So my own is they would have maintained the same energy. You see the energy when sanity was removed? Nobody, I, I don't even think I even heard anything when sanity was removed. Do you understand? And they reset that whoever they want to fix in. They should have maintained the same energy because it doesn't make sense to me. And this is not a matter that federal government should be involved in. Let us tell ourselves the truth. When it comes to matters, yes, the government is there, but the government should not interfere. Not only that they use their discipline. When it comes to their religious leaders and their traditional rulers, they don't use them to play at all. Northerners and these people, Bini people, they don't use their monarch to play. You can use your own to play in your own place. You understand? In your own region, in your own, it does not, they don't have a problem. But when it comes to their own, they give him utmost respect. We know this thing now. So why would the government want to come in and create chaos where there is none? 
No, this is when I think we come outside and I talk. Now the truth. You come up person. Now they won't come restate them. As they were going to restate, you don't even talk anything. Hey, so coco, you do not even come outside to say, oh. It doesn't make sense. Why should the FG be involved? When Ganduja removed the former Emirates, why didn't the FG get involved? Because you guys, the ruling party, you guys are the ruling party, right? You guys should know what you're doing. And that is why I said they, they would have maintained the same energy. It doesn't make sense to me. And the thing is, they were not even opposing it. The people were coming outside to oppose it. But government was so To so me, this is overusing. They are overstepping their boundaries. Had even practice. We practice separation of powers in this country, as in whereby the what's it called, whereby the judiciary they have their own powers independently, the legislature have their own powers independently, and the presidency, my dear, how would have said judiciary should call them to order, and the legislative body, but this one even the those ones said they don't forget that, the executive don't put the judiciary inside pocket and the legislative body inside pocket. Those ones cannot even come outside. This is why those ones are necessary. This is why it is necessary for those ones not to be among. So that one person will be calling the rest to order and say, no forget to this the way they do because voila. The truth is bitter for addicted corrupt people when you say it, they abuse you. But when you do keep quiet, no. Let us say it so that posterity will exonerate us. Let Aosa man and not fool any man occupy the front for absolute peace to reign. How can strangers be really over indigence? Who is the stranger? Because me, I don't really, like I said, I don't really know the history of Kano State. I'm not going to lie. Kano Knight, I've been waiting and they called him. Citizens of Kano, residents of Kano, Kano rather, what is going on? What is going on in your community? Is Sanusi not one of you? But still, you know, and when they were going to reinstate him, some some people were actually coming out. But like I said, Kano said people waiting they rush in a boat. Said I make the person where they did there. I mean I make the person will be say don't come us come back. And I really suppose get safe for this thing. You know? Kano State is not a state that you allow uh, what's it called peace. Their peace to elude them. They are not the kind of states. Kano said not the year you get on this way you know go look for Kano states. You don't go and how 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 would I say it? You don't go wake them up because if they wake up, come come and fight back. You know the good. You ask come to the good do you then go ask questions. Alright, and this note you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.